and friends out there, it's Mr. Leonidas, I hope you're doing well. And this is a knife discussion video comparing two different fixed blades here of the same model. And I have the Brian Hoffner hand spear and also the new Brian Hoffner sub C hand spear, the new uh, dive knife version. So let's check it out. Here's a close-up side-by-side comparison look of the original Hofner hand spear next to the newer sub-C version of the hand spear. This is not a full video review of either hand spear, just uh, doing a comparison of sorts. There is a review of the hand spear up on my YouTube channel along with the Hofner folding knife, and I can put a link to the, that video in the description box. Let's take a close-up look of the original hand spear real quickly. This one has the Coyote Tan G10 handle scales. They also come in OD green and black. Has those awesome index finger divots in there so you can swivel the knife around very quickly. And also, this one is the combo edge version. Hofner now has a plain edge version of the hand spear ad as well. I think he has a polished blades as well. This is a stonewashed finish. Just a really good looking spear point bayonet cut style blade. Awesome tactical self-defense, uh, very beefy, and a uh, good uh, length overall, about 9.75 inches and a 5-inch blade. Lanyard hole, you've got some hardware attaching the uh, G10 handle scales. Overall, just a really nice, good size, good beefy tactical fixed blade knife. And the sheath is Kydex. Comes with a tech lock. I'm a really big fan of the tech lock system, really works well. Uh, and, and easily with belts and also uh, your molly gear, your molly webbing. Very easy to work with and you can remove that you know, and do other sorts of attachments. That's just what I have on this one now. So that's just how the original one was set up. Now on to the newer sub C version. You can tell there are quite a few differences. Obviously very similar knife sheathed in there but we'll go ahead and take a look at the knife first. And this one is sheathed very tightly. I chose to get it uh, set and you mold it very tightly because you know if you have a knife strapped to your calf You want that to be in there fairly certainly and Got a yellow coated blade for high visibility on the newer hand spears got a lanyard hole halfway through and Then also the g10 is a cut back on the pommel So it's easier to put more lanyards through there easier to work with not quite as beefy also gives you a better you know, hammering point overall makes it just a little bit sharper and you know more of a defensive pommel has a od green g10 i believe that all the sub c versions are going to be the yellow blade and that green g10 it's a pretty good combination looks really good you know underwater like a saltwater type environment it has yellow hardware on there which matches very well looks good got your yellow bungee or yellow shock cord for your lanyard very beefy seems very you know very very strong and then it has a cord lock slider on there for adjustment and you know matches very well with the knife looks good feels good feels very high quality liking that very much uh, one thing you know some of you out there may not like is the edge is fully coated on these and that's just simply because you know protects against a saltwater environment the edge does have you know some sharpness it's not going to be as sharp as uh, obviously a factory edge it comes out clean but underwater this is an ideal choice and this coating could most likely be scraped off fairly easily with a razor blade uh, it would be a little more difficult with the serrations i'd probably just leave the serrations as is but you know that plain edge there uh, wouldn't hurt at all to scrape that off but overall just a really good looking knife just really impressed with how that yellow coating turned out very professional Time will tell how well it will hold up uh, so far. You know, after I've probably sheathed this knife over 20 times, I haven't really seen any scratches on it. And it just looks really good. It looks really good with that Hofner uh, logo shield in there. Got the Hofner initials. And uh, just really digging it. So go ahead and put it back in the sheath. 
can you hear that click get it out all right so let uh let's look at the sheath separately very interesting setup so you have your calf straps on here they're rubberized i will go ahead and say that they fit me uh well they fit me fine but anyone who has bigger calves than me uh may not work very well for you so you can also get a tech lock set up for this instead you know which is also just a good idea but uh but i like it it's it's overall uh, comfortable it gives you good tight fit you know it stretches uh, as you move and uh, what's really cool is the hardware here the plastic uh sliders Actually, here itw nexus which are very high quality uh, uh hardware on here and they swivel you know very slightly so that's uh that's really cool and uh, you know another nice factor is the hardware on the front here the these rivets that stick up out here they're also coated yellow so it really gives the sheath a very nice effect and uh, just overall good looking very unique knife setup you know kydex based it looks awesome with that yellow hardware and the strap system was very well thought out and then when you uh you lock the knife into the sheath you can also use that bungee around those pins and it locks in very well holds the knife in let's just do a quick test and uh yeah no you know no issues with that i mean you have to put a lot of force and the knife will still stay in overall so yeah just just a great setup i've uh, been wearing this on my calf on and off here for a few days uh definitely uh definitely digging it and you know it's not for everyone like i said the tech lock is available for that sub c version so uh guys if you enjoyed the, the video presentation please give it a thumbs up if you can comment i would love to read it and respond to that and also subscribe to the mr leonides channel have a good one